up guys welcome to psych you saturday so recently i was invited to be part of this awesome panel of for college students on how to get college students into youtube as youtube creators um, i got to hang out with some awesome fellow YouTube creators, including Greg Washburn from The Clunes, Armani Cooper from Team Backpack, and also singing sensation Ali Brutovsky. I got to learn so much from the other people on the panel, but I also got to learn so much from the college kids because they're a lot more younger and really tapped into the YouTube space. And we got to film some of the questions and answers from that session. And I thought I would share them with you guys because I know a lot of you might be interested in YouTube yourself and about how you can kind of grow your audience and get into the YouTube space. So enjoy. We committed to saving up heaps of money so that we could come here but for us it was like an international move we had to pack up everything we owned move over here get visas like it was a huge like one year process but we made it a plan we were like we're going to go by this day so we need to save up this much money by that day and then we quit our jobs so we had no way to go back and made it happen but like the thing is if you're going to do this if you're like i need to quit my full-time job and make a youtube channel and you're really passionate about it like make a time like i'm going to do it by this day and then do what you need to do if you need to save money so that you can commit all your resources. If you need to buy a camera or whatever it is, you need to save your resources up. Do that in that time. Um, but like, be strategic about it and like commit wholeheartedly. Because if you make one, like you guys are saying, if you make one video and it gets 11 views, it's so easy to be like, eh, I tried it. But, like, do it. We came to a YouTube event and we met the Young Turks Network. And they were like, you have a channel? That's so cool. Can you bring your channel under our banner? And we were like, totes. And, then, and that's how it came together. And then the hard work started. Time management probably is going to be the most realistic choice. Because like, I was working two jobs. I was working at Target, and I was like working in I was doing security at an old folks' home, basically. But I still made time to, you know, do videos, you know, do these shows so I can create content. So for a lot of you guys, you still have to put the, pay the bills, you know what I'm saying? But if you really want to do this, you'll find a way to shoot some content. You know, whether it's on the weekends, whether it's right after you get off work when you're home by yourself, just find a way to do it. Schedule. You create videos. Like, yeah. Like, how often do you create them? How often do you want to create them? I was thinking bi-weekly. Do it bi-weekly, don't stop. And that's the best way to develop creatively, because if you like making the content, you'll get there. Don't worry about like putting out stuff. It's like, we always say our videos are like a graveyard of missed opportunities. We're like, oh, it could have been so much better if we just spent an extra week on it. But we release something every day, no matter what. So like, I want to challenge you to like do it every two weeks. You gonna do it? I'll, I'll definitely, I'll try. Yeah! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.